Hi friends. Let's begin our Sunday School video with a game called Guess the Food. I'll give you three clues to guess the food I'm thinking of. The first clue will be fairly hard. The second clue a little easier. And the third clue will be a giveaway. Are you ready? Here's the first item I'm thinking of. The clue is it's a vegetable. That could be a lot of things, right? Make a guess. Clue number two, it's yellow. Does that help you? Well, maybe clue number three will be the giveaway for you. It's found on a cob. Did you guess corn? If you did, you're right. All right, let's try another one. I'm thinking of something that is crunchy. All right, here's the next clue. It's in the shape of a V. Hmm. And here's the last easy clue. It's a Mexican food. Did you guess a taco? If you did, you're correct. All right, let's try another one. This food item is cold. Well, I know what you're thinking. A lot of food items are cold. That's the idea. It's kind of hard. Okay, here's another clue. It's white. All right, here's the last clue. People put this inside a cone. Did you guess what I'm thinking of? Vanilla ice cream. That's what I was thinking of. Doesn't that sound good right now? All right, here's another one. The first clue is it is soft. Hmm. The next clue, it can be white. And the last clue, if you put two of these pieces of food together, you will make a sandwich. What is it? Did you say bread? If you did, you're right. All right, here's one more. This food item is smelly. It also is meat. Hmm. And the last clue, it swims in water. Did you guess? Fish? If you did, you're right. I'm sure you did well on those. Two of those food items are in our Bible story today. I can't wait to find out which two. Stay tuned. Our big picture question is all about Jesus' miracles. Why did Jesus perform miracles? Jesus performed miracles to glorify God, to show He is the Son of God, and to care for people. A miracle is something amazing done with God's power that would normally be impossible. Jesus' miracles showed love by healing and saving people. His miracles glorified God by proving His power and goodness. They also showed that Jesus is the Son of God because no one else could have done what He did. Jesus traveled all over Israel. He healed people, taught about God, and performed many other miracles. Last week, we learned that Jesus calmed a storm to show the disciples He is God. This week, we will learn about a time Jesus cared for people by providing a big meal for a lot of hungry bellies. Our story is called, Jesus Fed a Crowd. Jesus' disciples had been hard at work. They had been healing people and teaching them. So many people came and went that the disciples did not even have time to eat. So Jesus said to them, Come with me. Let's go to a quiet place where we can be alone and get some rest. Jesus and his disciples got into a boat to cross the Sea of Galilee. But many people saw them leaving. The people traveled by foot and they ran ahead of Jesus. When Jesus and his disciples got to the shore, the people were already there waiting for them. 
Jesus saw the crowd and he cared about them because they were like sheep who needed a shepherd. So Jesus taught the people many things about God's kingdom, and he healed people who were sick. By this time, it was late in the day. Jesus' disciples came to him and said, We are out in the middle of nowhere and it's getting late. Tell the people to go away so they can go to the farms and villages to buy themselves something to eat. But Jesus said, They don't need to go away. You give them something to eat. Well, Jesus' disciples were confused. We can't feed this many people, they said. It would cost a whole year's pay to buy enough bread for them to eat, Philip said. Jesus asked them, Well, how many loaves of bread do you have? Go look. Jesus' disciple Andrew said, A boy here has five loaves and two fish, but what good will that do for so many people? Jesus told the disciples to instruct everyone to sit down. So all the people sat down in big groups on the grass. Jesus took the five loaves of bread and the two fish. He looked up to heaven, and then he blessed the bread. He broke it into pieces and gave it to the disciples. He also divided up the fish. The disciples passed out the food to the people, and everyone ate until full. Then Jesus told the disciples to collect any leftover food. The disciples collected twelve baskets full of pieces of bread and fish. Jesus fed about 5,000 men that day, plus women and children. By feeding the 5,000, Jesus provided for the physical needs of the crowd. The next day, Jesus called himself the bread of life. Only Jesus is able to satisfy our souls forever by providing forgiveness, peace with God, and eternal life. Once again, let's review our story using our questions and envelopes. Question number one. Why did Jesus and his disciples cross over the Sea of Galilee? Do you remember? It was because they wanted to be alone. Question number two. What did the disciples want to do with the hungry crowd of people? Do you remember? Well, the disciples wanted to send them away to buy their own food. Question number three. How many baskets full of leftovers did the disciples gather? Do you remember the number? It was 12. Isn't that incredible? Question number four. What does this story show about Jesus? What do you think? Well, think about the compassion Jesus shows. Jesus wants to meet the needs of people. He met their physical needs by healing them and feeding them because they were hungry. But he also meets spiritual needs. Jesus taught about God before dying on the cross and rising again. Jesus' work made the way for us to be forgiven and have eternal life with God. Question number five. Why did Jesus call himself the bread of life? What do you think? Well, I think it's pretty simple. Just as bread represents a basic need, food, Jesus is necessary to have spiritual life with God. And our last question, question number six. How can we learn to trust Jesus more? What do you think? We can grow in faith by studying the Bible, gathering together as a church, praying and trusting Him. When we see that God is always faithful, always true, it's really easy to grow in our faith and our love for Him. Jesus miraculously fed a crowd with five loaves and two fish. Jesus met the physical needs of the crowd by satisfying their hunger. He will meet all our spiritual needs. He satisfies our soul, provides forgiveness, 
and promises eternal life. The Lord has done so many wonderful things. Jesus' feeding a crowd is just one of many miraculous things Jesus did when He was on earth. We can read about many more of them in the Bible. Let's sing our key passage song to remember Psalm 40, verse 5. Lord my God, you have done many things, your wondrous works and your plans for us. None can compare with you. If I were to report and speak of them, they are more than can be told. They're more than can be told. Psalm 40, verse 5. Lord my God, you have done many things, your wondrous works and your plans for us. None can compare with you. If I were to report and speak of them, they are more than can be told. They're more than can be told. Psalm 40, verse 5. You know, I love this story. It definitely makes you go, it also reminds us that God always takes care of us. God can and He will provide for our needs. Receiving food when you're hungry is a great need, but everyone has a need that is much bigger than hunger. We all sin, and our sin separates us from a holy God. Jesus gives us what we need the most a right relationship with God. He took the punishment for our sin when He died on the cross. By feeding the 5,000, Jesus provided for the physical needs of the crowd. The next day, Jesus called Himself the bread of life. You know, only Jesus is able to satisfy our souls forever by providing forgiveness, peace with God, and eternal life. This is an incredible gift, but it's only given to those who believe. Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross for you? Do you believe that you're a sinner who can't save yourself? If you do, and you have trusted Jesus as your Savior, the Bible says that your faith has made you acceptable to God. The Bible says in Hebrews, without faith it is impossible to please Him. The Bible also says in Ephesians that by faith, it is through that faith, through God's grace, that we are saved. It, I am praying that you are saved, and I am praying that your family is too. If not, and you have questions, please ask me, or check out our video on this channel called Gospel for Kids. Let's pray together. God, I thank you so much for another time that we can study your word together on, uh, in this way. I thank you for this incredible miracle that you did, providing food for the 5,000 people and uh, 5,000 men and women and children. But more than that, Lord, I thank you for the wonderful miracle you have done in the lives of people who have trusted you as Lord and Savior that you have given us faith to believe in you. I pray for my friends and their families who haven't trusted Christ as their Savior. I pray that you would help them understand and that you would give them the faith to place in you. I also pray that if they have questions, they would ask someone who they trust to answer those questions, or me, or that they would check out our video, Lord. I pray, God, that because the time is, is short, Jesus will soon return, I believe, for His church and for His people, people who, are, who will believe in Him. I pray that my friends and their families will understand 
how short the time is and that they will truly be serious about this. And for those who have already trusted Christ as their Savior, God, I pray that you will give them strength during difficult times to live for you, to please you, to follow you, and to learn more about you. Thank you so much for hearing and answering our prayers. We love you. We pray these things in Christ's name. Amen.